what seemed to be seconds, right, actually felt like hours to me, you know, like, it's like, please go away. That thing just won't stop. Then there's this very weird creaking sound. I think it's just the environment sounds, uh, but it actually added to the, 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 the fear, you know, because number one, where the hell is that footstep, co- footstep coming from? And number two, what are those hands? That one was the, 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 the most happening one, uh, right? During the, 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 the throughout the, my whole life, right? That, that was the most happening in the period of time, right? Like, in terms of the paranormal things, right? That there's a lot of layers to it. So let me try to, you know, unravel one by one. Is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. Maybe I can start straight away into the uh the the main one now, Okay, this one happened during my high school times. As a brass band member, right? We usually have these uh, boot camps uh, during the term holidays. At the time I was the leader of the camp now, so I was uh, in charge of you know, uh, delegating and also to assign rooms to each member. Uh, right. So after everything was done, we went about with our activities, you know, like um, practices and stuff. That night, uh, we had this um, practice, a group session, or, uh, like orchestra, like, you know, a whole band was playing in the, in the practice room. So this practice room, to maybe give a bit of context, right, it's in the block of building, which is uh, three stories tall. We were practicing in the room, and then suddenly, right, at 10 p.m., where we were practicing, practicing halfway, suddenly in came two scouts. Uh, scout members right just bust into our practice room and I was the leader at that time so I was like what the hell is going on you guys coming in without telling me anything right but the strange thing was when they came in they came in with a very very stern face very stern looking um, expression on their faces right they just picked two of the members and then they chow already just, they just left they did not say anything to me nothing to the instructor no one they just left brought the two people just left the room and we were left flabbergasted like what was going on, right? But before they left, right, they actually were have they were exchanging some very very quiet conversations. I, I I couldn't hear what they were saying, but it was very, very soft. Then I remember my, my friends, the, the two of them who were left, uh, who who left, right? The, their faces were also pale. Then after the practice, it was around eleven PM, then the two of them returned to the the practice room. So I asked them. What, 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 what was the whole thing about? What was the whole issue about? Then they were like very hesitant to tell me, you know, like, like there was some fishy, sketchy stuff going on. So they said, wait for the team to, you know, dismiss, you know, let the crowd diffuse a little bit first. Then I was like, oh, this shit is getting serious. Lah. Oh, okay. So um, what happened was, they told me, the two scouts that entered the room, they actually were finding people uh, throughout the whole school, right? Those who were having a boot camp, they were finding representatives for each club and society, patrol the whole school to like ask for blessings. Uh. I was like, why out? All of a sudden, why would you do that? Okay, maybe give you some geometry, right? Imagine the whole, okay, this is the, the, the school field. Uh, okay, Let, let's read from area view, right? This is a school hall. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm giving you a, yeah, this, this one is the, the hall of the school, right? Yeah, the top part is just the school field. Lah. Our practice room was here. Then to the left, what we have is a, a, a block, a, 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 a classroom block, right? There's this specific water dispenser. It was said to be haunted. Lah. What happened was the dance society and the football society and several other societies, lah, they actually saw the same entity. They mentioned it was a female, black hair. Not clear, but it was there, standing at the water dispenser. So, they asked the help from the scouts to get representatives from each team carrying joysticks, parade around the whole school to, you know, ward off all the evil spirits or whatever it is. Huh? Having heard this issue, right, I was like, oh shit, what am I going to do as a leader, right? So, I actually gathered my committee members. I mentioned that no person should leave the dorm singly. So, you go in pairs or in groups. Or better yet, don't go lah. You want to go, you go now. Then you go to bed and don't come out anymore. After we told them everything, then we dismissed. It was 1 a.m. Lights are out. All, all the lights are out already. I was sleeping in the room, right? 
I tried to, uh, I tried to sleep. It was easily close to 2 a.m. already. Then suddenly I heard something very strange. Someone with a pair of boots walking at a very slow pace. This is thud, then drag, thud, drag, thud, drag. The footsteps were abnormally slow. It's not indicative of a human, I would say, you know. I tried to, you know, ignore the sound. But while ignoring the sound, something visual came. My eyes were closed already. There was no lights. There were no lights. But I saw a silhouette of a hand, somewhat grayish or white, just doing this in front of my face. So I was like, hmm, interesting. Then I opened my eyes, nothing. There's the sound, all died off, everything gone, nothing. The sound gone, the visuals gone. Then I'm like, it must be the tired, the, the exhaustion doing things to my brain, all right? Close my eyes, nothing. Then I turn to the other side. And slowly the footsteps pick up again. Very slowly, but this time it's very close to me, like, I can feel. Uh. Then I felt very, very, very cold. Like, it's like someone is like looming, you know, just above me or something. It's very freaking cold. Then again, not one, but two hands doing this to me. So I was like, you know, reciting some, some mantras. Uh, it, it wasn't helping. What seemed to be seconds, right, actually felt like hours to me, you know. Like, it's like, please go away. That thing just won't stop. Then there's this very weird creaking sound. I think it's just the environment sounds, uh, but it actually added to the, 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 the fear, you know. Because number one, where the hell is that footstep, co- footstep coming from? And number two, what are those hands? They were very, very quick, you know, like some, some ghost playing a Prank, putting, putting a prank on you, you know. But I, I tried to try to fall asleep, and I managed to. The next day, there were two of my members, right? They were like the naughtiest bunch in the whole team, lah, right? They were actually sleeping in the same room, uh, with me. But the next day, they were like totally different from what they usually were, you know. Very quiet, very surprisingly quiet, and quite respectful to us, lah. So I was like, very out of the norm, uh. So I actually went over and asked them, "Is everything okay?" Uh, are, you, are you having any issues that you want to have resolved? So they told me the night before they heard and saw something. So I was like, wait a minute. You heard and saw something. So I said, stop, 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 stop. I said, stop. So I asked, let's call him A, right? person A. So I asked A, what did you actually hear? So he said he heard two things. The first thing he heard was someone Kind of like, I don't know how to describe the sound, but someone like salivating, like that kind of, yeah, that kind of sound, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's strange. Then I said, what's the second sound you heard? Footsteps, very slow footsteps, circling around the room. And I had the wildest, goose, no, second wildest goosebumps. So I asked him, was this? Was the foot were the footsteps slow, fast, or what's the characteristic? What was the, the the distinctive feature of the footsteps that he told me? There was a drag, so it's like it's exactly what I heard. And I asked him anything else. He said it seemed to be walking in circles. So that was when I felt like I wasn't hallucinating the night before. So then I asked the second question: What did you see? He said two things as well. The first thing was he saw hands waving in front of his eyes. Oh, then I got very, very, very strong goosebumps already. Like, so he got, I was thinking, lah, so that thing got to you as well, whatever that was. Right. Bear in mind that this is the first thing, yeah. The second thing, the intensity is way higher. So I asked him, what, what about the second thing? So he said the second thing involved person B, the other guy, right? So what happened was when he was sleeping, right? He heard these noises, right? The, the slurping sound and also the, the footsteps and all. Then he opened his eyes, he saw nothing. Closed his eyes and everything came back again, right? Then the next thing that happened was someone or something tucked his uh, blanket, you know, tucked on his blanket. Then he opened his eyes he saw his blanket actually was away from him. Lah. So he put back up, tried to sleep again. And again, it got tucked. So he pulled. Okay, then he tried to sleep. Right. 
Then the third time, I, I, I think third time's a charm. Lah. But when it happened on the third time, right, he actually freaked out. He opened his eyes, right? Yeah, his blanket actually got t- t- uh, got pulled away. Because actually, he's like this. Uh, he's sleeping, right? Uh, the leg is facing person B, right? So person A, then person B. So it's like one line. Uh. Person B was right in front of him. In the line of sight. Just in front of him. When he opened his eyes, he saw his blanket was moving towards uh, person B. Uh. At the same time, as he opened his eyes, right? He saw a shadow figure hugging person B as if making out with him, you know. Like hugging and cuddling and stuff like right? Very distinct. It's a female, but cannot discern the features. Only can know it's a shadow figure of a female gender rubbing herself on, on him. Like. He was actually visibly struggling, like, 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 you know, like not, not, not sleeping well, like, like moving a bit, you know, the person B. Like. He was totally un- unaware of the thing that's happening to him. So A was like trying to walk over and pull, pull him by the blanket. La. Like, bro, wake the shit up, man. Wake up, bro. But he was like deep asleep. No, for the love of his life, he was like, wake up, bro. I'm trying to save your life. So he was like waking him up. Then after what seemed like minutes, right? He came to, then he said, Jom, Jom, let's go to the toilet. Let's go to the toilet now. Let's go. Just go to the toilet. Don't ask any questions. Right? Then B was like caught in the days. Right? What's, what's going on? I was having like a sweetest dream. right? I, I, I think he mentioned it was sort of like a wet dream. Like he saw some girl in the dream. So that was the first incident that happened during the same camp. Second incident, right in the dorm for the female, suit, uh, for the female members. Right? One of my members, right? her hair got pulled. And then there's a tuft of hair, right? Just right next to her pillow. And then the sleepers, before she slept, right? The sleepers was right beside her sleeping bag. The next morning, right? It appeared at the corner of the back of the classroom. That actually creeped everyone out. Uh. It's actually quite worrying to us uh, because we don't know what to do. We are, un- we are unprepared for this kind of things, you know? Like, oh, what, what are you going to do? If it's a physical human being, right? If, if I know there's such a person, Actually, it's very easy to deal with. You call the police, you get him locked up somewhere, something that you can physically do, right? But when it comes to the supernatural, we are actually helpless, you know? What can we do? Like, what's the best can you do? But apparently, that was just a story within our own society. Other societies were having very strange uh, encounters as well. What's, what's the history of the school? It was a ex war war site. Uh. There were also some rumors saying that it was a hospital built for the war victims. Uh. You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. <laughs>